Here we are, back at the exit of Hunter Valley. Back in the wonderful world of Nippon, with our good ba a good a good buddies, Ami and Isun. Okay, that's the new brush technique in the bag now, Ami. Before you get all excited and forget what you're supposed to do, I have an important tip for you. All right, listen, ready? Okay, then. If you ever forget what to do next, press that button to open the fan menu. Just go on and do. It. Go and stretch your finger out. Push that button. Do it for me. Do it for Daddy. Take a look at the logbook. Do it for Mommy. Do it, you'll find your journal here. Do it for your uncle. Yeah, I get it, Isu. Your journal is a record of the important dialogue you've heard. Shows all the important info you heard in your friend. Take up in the way I should be able to recall important things. Your adventure will be a lot easier if you remember this. Also remember first things first. Okay, let's go! Okay, so that's sort of like a crappy uh, quest log in the uh, using using dialogue from NPCs. Um, nameless man? You look confused about something, friend. Freaky, looks like the river suddenly cleared up. I did see Suzano whizzing past here a little while ago, but surely it wasn't him who cleaned up the river, was it? No, that wouldn't make any sense. Nah. Nah. It's been ages since I've seen the river looking so healthy. That magical crystal ball must be working as mojo. Yeah, I made it work as mojo. Ah, oh, night time again. Uh, you, you see these ribbons? I, I, I never mentioned this previously, but these are enemy encounters. In, encounters. And they become considerably more aggressive at night. They, they tend to chase you down if you get too close to them. And uh, lock you into a fight. I'm trying to avoid that. What we need to do is revive this sapling so we can save this man. Who is the key to saving Nippon. Oh shit! Holy cow, this is bad! It looked like your regular old current zone from back there, but the evil gear is far worse to stuff. It would curse a normal person in a flash. I'm afraid I might even rob you of your power. You wait to tell me that now after I've already walked into that shit like two or three times already. Anyway, let's revive this. Yeah, you like that sucker, yeah. I bet that poked you right up. Right up. Poked you right up. Oh, the music. It's so inspirational. It's even turning night into day. Wow. I'm just sitting back and watching this beauty unfold. Whoa! Look at those waves! Oh! <gasps> Holy God, that is gorgeous! And now that we've saved the shopkeeper, the game uh, should end, uh, I think. The credits should roll soon. Mm, praise. Wow, that nasty curse zone is completely gone! The plants and animals are back, and just feel that fresh breeze. Now that's what I call great divine intervention. If you keep on dispelling the evil curse like this, I bet the gods of nature will lend you their powers. Ami is... over the moon right now. <gasps> wow. Hey, that's... That's Sakuya's tree, isn't it? Maybe she's perked up because you revived a guardian sapling? Well, well, you can stop by and see her later. I mean, we're kind of on a roll here. How about we take a look around, since you feel first? You've been gone a hundred years, right? A good run around the place will do you good. Stretch my legs, clean up some demons. First open this chest. Oh, we got... Fleeing battle. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know the fleeing battle. It's like a, a crack in the in the, 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 the barrier, isn't it? You gotta go through or whatever. I don't need it. I don't run from combat. Oh my god. Damn it. You obtain Traveler's Charm. Yep. Okay, let's go clean up some shit. First, let's talk to Mr. Shopkeeper, yeah. Wait, is this guy a shopkeeper? I think he is. Yeah, Merchant, now let's see, what am I doing here again? Oh yes, I took shelter under the Guardian Sapling when I heard that terrifying sound before, like a monster growling. Well, this is perfect, it's fate, why don't I set up shop here? You know where to come when you're sent shopping, right, Pooch? I guess a lot of people sent dogs shopping in ancient Japan. Ye oldie Japan, I don't, I don't know what period exactly this is, like the name for it. Edo? No, I don't know, I don't know. 
I, I could be wrong. Oh yes, I don't know if you'll understand this, but here goes. I'd like to ask your favor, it'll be a cinch with your nose. If you sniff out any nice bowls of dishes lying about, don't just leave them to rot away. Bring them to me, would you? If you turn up any treasures that are worth a bit, I'll pay you. Treasures? Hmm. You found anything like that, Amy? If you did, you should just sell it. I mean, what are you gonna do with stuff like pots and dishes? Decorate my house, Isun. It's hard to sell stuff you worked so hard to get, but don't worry, all the treasures you collect will be cataloged in the fan menu. That's right, you won't have them anymore, but you could sure shit look at some pings, some PNGs, some JPEGs of them. What are you mumbling about? Have you got something, something for me? Do some, no, go away. You're welcome. Uh, let's see. Let's clear some evil, evil out of shit you feel. Let's do some painting. Yes. Ah, oh, you know, there are no mistakes when we paint, just, um, happy mistakes, as the great philosopher Bob Ross once said. If Bob Ross were alive, I think he'd really enjoy this game. Oops, got around here. Okay, so these are also sort of encounters. Whoa, what's up with this old gate? I don't like the looks of it. It's just teeming with evil power. I can feel it. Still, you mean a god, no. We can just we can't just ignore it. What do you think, my free friend? We going through it one? You bet your sweet ass we're going through it Eastern. It's time for some fighting. Where do you go? Hello? Oh there he is. Both of them dead? Yes. Let's deal with this guy. Oh, you fool. You think you can hide from me behind a banjo or a shamisen. Is that a shamisen? I don't know why I thought it was a shamisen. Could be a shamisen. Shamisen. Nice. Cherry blossom? Cherry blossom, please? Yes! A whopping 800 yen bonus. Got a chest for that. What's in the box? So that's it! Those things are gateways to monster layers. I've heard of such gates before. They're called devil gates. Those monsters got a lot of nerve building things like that. Let's tear them down wherever we find them. Yes, this. Let's. Destruction in order to rejuvenate the landscape. Vengeance slip. People depicting comic backlash. Wonder how exactly one would depict comic backlash. Maybe like a group of kids laughing at a kid who like trips down a flight of stairs and then those same kids who were laughing at the kid fall down a flight of stairs immediately. You know, like a like a like a four panel comic, that type of thing. Temporary deflects enemy attacks, nice. Um it is definitely more shit to clean up here. Yeah? Stay away from me, enemy encounter. Uh, up here, maybe? Okay, so these are like little shrines you can leave offerings to for praise, I think. This is a guardian statue, but I don't think anyone's been here in years. in pretty bad shape. I feel kind of sorry for it. Why do you leave an offering? You don't get much praise for that, I don't think. And I don't know if it restores any part of the landscape. I don't think it does. Anyway, let's restore this this wonderful dojo so we can unlock more moves and whatnot. Where you, 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 No, you didn't see me. Shit, he saw me. I had a feeling. What? You're just gonna- what? What? You eyeing me up! You son of a bitch. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Attack me! Go on the ground! Do something! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Nice. I wonder why it took a year for this game to come out, um... Well, a year between its North American and European release.
That's a long time. Another one of these guys. <laughs> I don't think so. No, I'm gonna go behind you. Yeah, you didn't see me. Uh oh. Am I hitting him there? He's hitting me, I think. There's no way in hell. Nope. I didn't deserve a cherry blossom that time. Although I got two up there for like damage and something else. Nice, look at how nice this place is. Nice! It should have been the subtitle for this game. Okami! Nice. Alright, uh, so this is where you use a uh, mermaid coin. This is, this is how you know you can fast travel using this little body of water. This little lake, pond, river. What a pretentious sign! I wish I knew what that said. I made this year's a dojo. It's where people come to learn sword fighting and martial arts. But who knows if they'll train you here. Maybe if you're a good wolfie, they'll teach you a trick or two. Let's see what this guy has an, uh, an offer. Dojo. This is a rundown dojo operated by some eccentric old man. Just how eccentric? Let's find out. Oh my god, he's a maniac! Onigiri sensei. <laughs> I uh, probably shouldn't have stood right in front of him while uh, engaging in this conversation because we can't see him at all. We just got a view of Amy's ass. Amy's ass. Well, what have we here? It looks like I have an adorable lupine visitor. My name is Onigiri Sensei. This is my dojo. Oh, there we go. Better view. Fighting Master. Double space or three space. Three spaces. Onigiri Sensei. What business could a wolf like yourself have in a dojo like this? Certainly you haven't come to study the fighting arts with yours truly. Learn a new combat move, okay. Ha! Oh, I like the cut of your jump, my furry friend! I very much like to while away the hours that play with you, but I'm afraid that this place is far too dangerous for creatures like you. This, of course, unless you could cover the training fee. Gold technique, fleet, god technique. Oh, two degrees. Okay, that's, a, that's like an increased... A, fanci a fanciful dodge. Reflector technique. I currently am using the reflector. So this would be to my benefit, but they... Oh, I can afford one of them. Um, I'm gonna get a lot of money later on, so I think I'm just gonna do this. I'll be a monkey's uncle. You've got the cash, have you? I see. I suppose I have no choice. I'll do as you wish and allow you to enroll my dojo. Ah, oh, ooh, ooh, my osteoporosis. Oh, what a what a what a transformation! Whoa, whoa. Where am I? Are you mentally prepared to handle the ultimate challenge? Step inside and test your mind. He does this every time you learn a move. Thankfully, you can skip it. Like, imagine learning multiple moves in succession, and you had to watch that shit over and over again. Let the lesson begin. We'll practice the four winds reflector technique. Take these tips to heart and remember them as we train. Four winds, blah, blah, blah. I know it's attacking four times. Okay. Well, did you understand? Yep. Oh, very well then. I'll grant you this technique scroll. Check it when you forget what it means to be a warrior. I obtain technique scroll. Understand it with your body as well as your mind. On guard. Okay. So we gotta do this, uh, like three, four, five times. We don't have to. I think we can just leave now and we'd still learn it, but you get a free item if you complete the, um, training here. So, might as well do it. Good job! Not quite, put more energy into it. Listen friend, I can guarantee you I've got a million times more energy than you. I'm basically the sun inside a tiny little fluffy white dog. Is that all the strength you can muster? Actually more than just the sun, pretty much everything. I need to brush up on my Shinto mythology. I do know that all of your weapons you get in this game are sort of like uh, artifacts of Amaterasu, Amaterasu in uh, Shinto, in the, the Japanese mythology. Yes, that your warrior spirit burn blood. Like I think the reflector represents the mirror that they used to draw her out of the cave, or something when she was hiding, and then the world went to hell. Imagine if the sun just hid in the cave, 
couldn't live you couldn't live in a world like that. It's enough for all. Very impressive. You've shown me a warrior spirit. You must have neglected the spirit trying to be ready to keep it strong. You may go now. Show those foul creatures the true nature of the warrior. Okay, where's my item? Where's my free bone? Free bone? Yes, there it is. So that's a really good healing item. Head and off, eh? Listen, oh shit. I skipped that. But you must never lose a drive for self-improvement. I fear he says this every time as well. Like, I pray that you do not forget that. Oh man, he's got flames on his outfit. What a badass. What a badass grandpa. Nah, now he's back to his old crappy self. What else we got in Shinshu Field? Ooh, look at that. Foreshadowing. I suppose um, when I, I mentioned in a previous video that this game does have some flaws. I think one of the flaws, and I think it was a limitation of the PS2 hardware at the time, was that the draw distance is very low in this game. So sometimes, if, if I'm like looking for another demon house to attack, I won't be able to see it until I'm basically on top of it. So like surveying the landscape is kind of pointless right now. Like, that guy's house isn't even there, I don't think. So, it encourages you uh, running around and exploring, which uh, is a good side effect. A good um, outcome, I guess. Eda. Ow, 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 what's going on? Eda, the Dungan, Dungan Express never trips up. I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> Must be a curse. Express messenger, Ida. I don't have time for falling over. People are waiting for mail. Those monsters must have set some kind of trap for me as a joke. Darn it, I knew I should have brought a traveler's charm. Funny you should mention that, Ida. Hey, Pooch. That's the traveler's charm you got there, isn't it? I offer traveler's charm. Thanks for asking me, game. Oh, yes. I feel so light. My body feels so light as a feather. Thanks, Pooch. You saved me. Can't hang him out. Gotta catch up with my deliveries. So you can now race this guy multiple times, each time becoming uh, progressively more and more annoying. I'm not going to do that yet. I will do it, though. Even more foreshadowing for future abilities. I think this is the, the next power we learn. The cherry bomb. <laughs> there it is. You see? Look at that. Look at that. Look at, look at this draw distance. That's fine. It's it's worth it. It's worth it to have the game look like this and run like this on a on a PS2. Yes. That's gotta be a cherry tree. Cherry blossom. I keep saying cherry tree. Oh no, it's one of these guys again. You waste my time, drum man! Oh, damn it, he saw me. Yeah, take this. No. No! Okay, he definitely did not do damage to me that time. Yes! Ah! Oh, sweet cherry, cherry blossom! That was totally worth it for those plants on that rock. And the praise. And the rabbits? Oh, look at them! Hey, what do you think you're doing, buddy? The Nameless Man's uh, workshop, I guess you'd call it, is on this side. As soon as it pops into, uh, into view. Wait, where is it? It should be here. Wait. 
Oh, I think I gotta bring it back somehow. Is there another one of those demon houses here? How do I get that? Huh? I mean, we gotta do something. I just can't remember what. Hmm. Let me talk to the nameless man. Maybe he'll give me a clue. Ah, here it is. This is what we gotta do. Gosh, so satisfying this combat. I think my first playthrough of this game, I um, I stuck with the the rosary bead weapon, which uh, is also extremely satisfying to use. You don't need to spam the attack button, but um, it's one of those games that. You just you just spam it because it just feels so it just feels great. You feel like you do more damage when you spam it, even though you're not. There we go. There his workshop is. You better get down on your knees and start thanking me, nameless man. Offer me some praise. Nameless man's kill. It's a big old kill. Fire and powder. Fire and powder. I guess somebody works here. I bet they can make some sweet powder in a kill like this. That's what it's a kill, not a workshop. gonna turn nighttime soon. That bird indicates the the the, the 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 falling of the sun. It's a big old keel! Yep, read this, read this, read this. Okay, let's go talk to Nameless Man. Oops. I keep getting a faint whiff of blossoms from the cave recently. I feel like piss is like wash over my saw her, man. Y'all gonna comment on your kill? I mean, you can see it from here. Look at this. Huge! You know, running in the background there. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Um... Let's check out this guy down... Hello. Oops. Accidentally planted a tree. Don't you just hate it when that happens? You know, you're digging up a giant clover that you accidentally on a tree with your celestial brush brush celestial brush okay so we can only go to this guy at night his shop only opens at night so just wait a few seconds I'll get there in the meantime there we go I like those giant signs up in the air that tell you um where those paths lead to, like the Agatha Forest. Stay clear of these ribbons. They like to get all touchy-feely at night. Oh god. You're right there, aren't you? Oh. Oh. Okay. So, um, I'll go down here, I'll, I'll start this, this little cherry bomb thing and then we'll call the episode. No! God damn it. Every time, every time. Okay, what's he gonna do here? Can I? Oh, okay. I keep thinking I can slice him while he's all. <laughs> you severely missed me, friend. You dumbass. No, nope, gotta get behind him. Perfect. Okay. Let's talk to, um... Oh wait, first I gotta get attacked by a new type of demon. These fish guys. I think you can just slice these guys with a power slash. 
from what I remember. They aren't too tough, although they look intimidating as hell. I mean, look at that. Jesus, that is nightmarish. Pretty much just slice them. I think. Yeah. I think I slice him three times. Yeah, there he goes, he's dead. Easy peasy. Man, but just wait until we get to those metal turkeys later on. We gotta like power slash the the this bombs that they throw at you. Heal this tree? I keep forgetting to keep my eye open for these trees. I hope I haven't missed any. I don't think I have though. Uh, I'm not gonna go down there now because it's night. Let's go in here to Super Pyrotechnus Thomas house. Smell that on me? That odor could only be from gunpowder. I may be through fireworks. This is kinda exciting. Legend of Orochi. Let's get in here before the sun rises. No, no, no! That can't be right! It shouldn't be doing that! No, no, no! I checked and double checked my formula! No, no, no! Hey, you there around a minute? Huh? Whoa, what's this little wisp doing here? Hey, who you calling a wisp? I may seem to want an artist. Well, 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 you're a little ball of fire, aren't you? I am Tama. Tama the Flaming Pyrotectus. That's what they call me. Nice goggles. Kinda looks like Us Usopp. Usopp from One Piece. Flaming Pyrotectus Tama. With that, um... Just a pair of goggles and that hair. Listen up, you two. I'm just about to set off a humdinger of a doozy. Oh, man. Take a look. <laughs> a humdinger of a doozy? I'm in. Take a look at the formula I posted on the wall there. My whole career as a pyrotechnist has led to that formula, friends. It's for a little firework I've dubbed the Midnight Wonder Boy. There's only one problem. Even though I know the formula is sound, it's not working right yet. I know. Listen, pup. You've got good eyes, fiery eyes, smoldering eyes. Maybe your red hot glare is just what I need to set us off. Feast your eyes on the greatest display the world has ever seen. Hold on to your hats, kids. Here I go. The brightest constellation in the sky, the Midnight Wonder Boy. Well, is this gonna work? Yes! Oh, he's so beautiful! Butterfly! Holy smokes! <laughs> Look at um, Ami! That Tama may have a few screws loose, but boy, can he deliver. Hmm? That light again. <gasps> Another brush technique. Oh, it's another constellation, I mean. Do, 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 do. One here. And one here. Wow, that, that star at the, the, that star at the bottom there is really pushing it where I placed it. <laughs> oh, careful. Oh, I like, he's got little, little, little balls next to him. Ah, oh, Matura's the origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Too often it is easy to forget that which we cannot see. Hidden away, I had lost track of you, but now my soul is seized. Was blind, but now I see. I Bakugami, God of Explosive Force, lend my power to your cause. Use the cherry bomb to lay waste to foes and obstacles alike. Uh oh, this isn't gonna end well. <laughs> the power just rolls into you. Hey, did another brush technique just come back to you? That was Bakugami, the god of explosions. His technique is called Cherry Bomb. Thomas' enthusiasm must have awakened the god's power in you. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's give that Cherry Bomb a try. What about that cracked wall over there? Why'd you try Cherry Bomb on it? But be careful. Nope. Huh? You forgot how to draw a chair bomb? Looks like a bomb. You did a bag of times, remember? I know, I just messed up you soon. I didn't make the, the fuse long enough. <laughs> well, look at that hole! I blasted that crack wall to some reeds. That chair bomb is one destructive technique. I mean, just think what it could do to monsters. It's gonna be tricky handling something that powerful, but I bet you'll be using it all the time once you master it. Yes, I shall. 
<gasps> a rat statue. One of the 13 zodiac treasures. It is posed whimsically. Is it? Doesn't look whimsical to me. Alright. I think I will call it here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next fun fold. Oh, Jesus. In the next fun fold. Or Kami episode. Exactly. <laughs>